What's up guys, Brett with New England Auto and Truck Recyclers. Today we're parting out a 2002 BMW X5 stock number M91267 with 88,000 miles on it. Uh, the hood here, you got one minor imperfection right here. Call it rust, call it a paint issue, I guess. It's very, very small. Other than that, this thing looks excellent. Uh, it'll come with the grills. Uh, this one will come with the grills, so you get that going for you. Uh, left head lamp looks to be uh, in good condition. You got a good left front lamp on there as well, and a front rebar that's going to be in good shape. The cover is just scuffed up, so that's not going to be any good. You got a left knee, complete control arm, spindle and strut. Um, no damage listed on this fender. On the left here looks uh, very good. Left door mirror in very good shape as well. Left front door, you got a couple of small pings, one up toward the front, and um, a couple down toward the bottom, uh, over here toward the middle of the vehicle. Uh, but otherwise, it's in pretty good shape. Yeah, there is a window. It's just, it was down, so they taped it instead of, you know, starting it, putting the window up. Uh, rear door on the left, you got two small pings in the middle. Um, otherwise, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, left quarter glass in excellent condition. You got a good quarter panel on the left side as well. Two very small pings, very, very minor. Very minor. Uh, complete left rear suspension. Uh, transfer case, drive shaft. You name it, all-wheel drive, you know how it goes. Uh, the lid on here, in, in good, very good shape. Two real, real small pings toward the middle part, right down on the bottom. Coming complete with the hinges, spoilers, lights, and backup cam, you know it. Uh, good quarter panel mounted tail lights on both sides, left and right, both in very good condition. Uh, quarter panel on the right side, you got one small ping up above the wheel well, right below that gas door. Uh, otherwise, it looks very, very clean. Right quarter glass in good condition as well. Complete right rear suspension, you got no damage showing on the right rear door this thing looks very very clean uh, tough to tell off that solar glare but my apologies uh, your right front door you got a little bit of lip damage up toward the uh, fender here Let's see if we can make something happen where you can actually see what's going on in here a uh, little bit of lip damage here and then you got a little bit of a paint blemish here uh, from the mirror I would guess just straight rubbing on that paint uh, so I'm not sure if that will buff out or what but Got to make mention, you got a no knee, forget it. Uh, right headlamp, we're going to double check it. Same with the right front lamp, make sure they're in good shape. So we will take a look at the interior here. Uh, trim panel's in pretty good shape all the way around. I mean, they're a little dirty, but nothing a little cleaning up can't do. Uh, you got a good master over here for windows, mirrors. You got some wear on the left seat here for sure. Um, but I mean, it's, it's, it is okay, I guess, for the year, or two, it's, it's not new. Um, but definitely a little bit of wear here. Uh, passenger seat's a little bit better, certainly worn, definitely a little dirty, needs some love. Uh, center console, this is broken that way, I don't know, it just doesn't shut, it's stuck. Uh, you got roof glass in here, that's in good condition. Good dash bag over on the passenger side, you got a good glove box as well. Uh, aftermarket receiver. Uh, which is in questionable condition. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure if that even works given that it's Trying to turn the volume down the whole time got a good master for heat and AC though. That does work That's not aftermarket that came with the vehicle uh, good floor shifter black with the wood accent um, You got a good steering wheel in here as well steering wheel cover So I mean you know that the thing has been preserved wheel bag obviously intact You got a good steering column in here uh, aside from a broken shifter um, but it works. It does have electric tilt, telescopic, it moves. A uh, full tank of gas, which is unfortunate, but the speedometer works. Check the brake fluid. Engine runs. <sighs> Holy, honestly, it sounds fantastic when you rev it up. You know the drill. Give the sales team a call if you have any questions on this hog. They will be more than happy to give you the help you need. 